Hello friends, welcome back to the Ethical Hacking Code. Now that we have a solid understanding of how AIP spoofing works, let's move forward and see how we can execute this attack to manipulate the flow of data, rewriting it to our own device. By doing this, we will be able to intercept everything sent to and and from the target computer, including sensitive information like username, password, and more. There are several tools available to carry out an ARP spoofing attack. However, in today's session, I will be working with a simple yet reliable tool called ARP spoof. In upcoming lectures, we will switch to a more feature rich tool called Better Cap. The reason I am introducing the reason I am introducing ARP spoof here is that it's extremely easy to use but also very dependable. It's available across multiple operating systems including iOS and Android. So once you understand how to use it, you can deploy it on virtually in any system. With ARP spoof, we can redirect the flow of data to pass to our computer. After redirecting the data, you can then use other tools like Wireshark or Packet Sniffer to analyze the data, which we'll discuss further in this course. Let's start using ARP spoof First, open your terminal and type ARP in to see gateway IP and MAC address on ETH0. Then type ARP to I ETH0. The I specifies the network interface connected to the target network. In my case, it's ETH0. In my case, it's ETH0. If you are unsure of your interface, then type config command and you will see the one connected. ETH0. For this demo, I will be using this attack on my virtual network. You can also run this on Wi Fi networks, which I will cover later. For now, I will recommend testing it on virtual network as I am doing here. Next, let's specify the target IP address using the T. My target IP is 192.168.73.134. Now I'll copy that. And paste here. You will also need to provide the gateway IP address, which is 192.168.73.2. So I'll write here 192.168.73.2. This will trick the target into believing that I am the router. Now I clear the screen and also run the same command. A R P spoof I ETH0. Now you need to enter gateway IP address 192.168.73.2. Now enter your target with same IP address and enter 8.3. Now enter your target IP address which is 192.168.73.134. We will run the ARP spoof command twice. First, to fool the victim into thinking we are the router. And second, to trick the router into billing, we are the victim. Now I will run the command here and here. Remember, this attack works on both wired and wireless networks. Here, I am using a virtual wired network, but the same approach applies to Wi Fi networks. If you want to target a wireless network, you need to connect a wireless adapter to your Kali machine and follow the same process. After executing the commands, Go to the target machine and run ARP A. ARP A. You will notice the MAC address of the router has changed to the match the MAC address of my Kali machine. You can also verify with old MAC address. Now, every request from the target will send to the my machine first. Now, I am going to Kali machine. Since my machine is not a router, it won't forward the packets unless we enable port forwarding. To do this, Use the following command echo one greater than prop plus eight IPv4 IP underscore forward with port forwarding enabled. The target machine will still have internet access, but all the requests and response will pass to our computer first, as shown in the diagram. The target's data flow to our machine before reaching the router. This allows us to position ourselves as the man in the middle. Once we are in the middle, we can inject code into the target's browser, still sensitive data like username and password. 
monitor all communication, replace legit math file with malicious one, and much more. That's a quick demo of how to use ARP spoof for ARP spoofing attacks. In the next lesson, we will explore more advanced tools and techniques. Stay tuned.